In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record audio both on the device and the chat editor software. If you don't have the chat editor software, that's a piece of software that you can down from the Liberator website under support. The chat editor software allows you to make customizations and changes on your device via your PC. You will need the cable to do this. The cable is typically a USB cable one end and a USB-C cable the other. I'm going to plug the cable into my laptop. On the screen, on the right hand side, this is my device. On the left hand side is the chat editor software. You do need to make sure that the chat editor software and the device are running the same version of software. So firstly, what I'm going to do is to make some customizations on my device. So I'm going to go into the clothes and you'll see I've got the word shirt there. What I want to do is to record the word shirt rather than the device speaking it. So I'm going to do that by pressing the menu button and selecting edit mode. I know it's in edit mode because it says edit mode at the bottom. I'm going to tap shirt and I'm gonna say edit button. Now you'll see that it says shirt in the label and the message, and now I'm going to press actions. You'll see it says speech message. Firstly, I'm going to remove that function speech message. I'm going to add an action, and the action I'm going to add is play recorded speech. I'm going to create a new recording, and I'm going to press record and say the word that I want to record, and then press stop to finish. Shirt. I can play back. Shirt. And if I'm happy with that, I can type in the name of the recording, in this case, shirt, and press save. Now what this should say is play recorded speech and the message name. Select save and come out of the edit mode. And now when I press shirt, it will speak the word shirt. You may find by recording on the device, it isn't very clear. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the device into my computer. It's now connected and you'll see the device has gone into transfer mode. I'm waiting for chat editor to acknowledge the software. And here in the chat editor software, you'll see that there are three lines here and it should say device connected once the device is connected. If it doesn't come up with device connected, simply close the chat editor software and then reopen the chat editor software and see if device connected now appears. So I'll open chat editor. Welcome to and it says device is connected. Now, the first thing I want to do is to get the vocabulary that I've been working on on the device and send that into my chat editor software. So I'm going to go into library. I'm going to select transfer and I'm going to select vocab to from device. The name of the vocabulary that I'm currently working on is for basic PCS mark. So I'm going to select that and that's on the device. I'm going to say send it to editor and that now goes into the editor software. That's now done. And now what I need to do is go into my resources and choose the file for basic PCS mark, select that and open. So there's the vocabulary that was on my device. If I select categories, clothes, you'll see shirt, shirt. is there and it's speaking. But if I want to create a new button, I can go into edit mode, I can select the button which I wish to edit, create a new button. I'll type shirt here. I can search for a picture and choose a picture, select, and then I can look at my actions. The speech message is there again. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to select the drop down choices. And at this point, I'm going to select play audio and select add. I'm going to record the audio and then I press record and say the word. Shirt. Stop. I can play it. Shirt. It's clearer. And now I'm going to press OK. Type in the word shirt 
and select save. It already exists, so I'll say shirt one, save, and apply. And now I'll go back to my picture. If I'm happy with that, press add. And now that's added the word shirt. If the format of the, or if the layout of the picture looks different, I can simply select copy button style of the picture that I like and the layout that I like, right click and select paste button style. Notice the buttons now look the same. I'm gonna come out of edit mode. I can continue adding as many words as I want to, but once I'm finished, I'm gonna go back into library, back into transfer, back into vocab to from device. And this time, this is the most up-to-date on the, on the chat editor software. I'm selecting that and I'm gonna send it back to my device. When it comes back to the device, it says it already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes, I do, because the one on the chat editor is more up-to-date. That's now going across to my device. It's transferring, as you'll see on the other side of the screen. I'll select done and close. Now I'm going to disconnect the cable from my Nova chat, and you'll see it now loads in the software. I'm going to go into categories, close, and notice now I've got the new one here. And it's a lot clearer. So my advice is if you're recording lots of messages or individual words, use the chat editor software to store and do the editing and customization. Be sure before you start editing in chat editor that you're sending the latest file that's on the device into the chat editor. And then once you finish customizing, sending it back to the device. I hope this helps. And should you need any support or assistance, you can contact me, mark at liberator.co.uk. You can email me. So you can uh, call me on plus four four seven seven four seven zero one six 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 zero. Thanks for watching.